This is John Pennelly, financial representative, going to be talking to you today about stock splits. Generally, a stock split which produces more shares and consider, is considered to be a, a positive move. Um, this generally occurs when companies are growing quickly and they want to be able to offer uh, more shares at a slightly cheaper and more attractive price to uh, shareholders or potential um, share buyers. Now, the way a stock split would work is say you owned uh, 200 shares of Microsoft for $20 a share. Now, the stock does a two for one split, which means now the shares have doubled. So now you are offer, you now you have, instead of the original 200 shares, now you have 400 shares. But instead of that $20 price per share, the, the price is going to adjust accordingly. It's going to be about $10 a share. So in essence, you're not making money off of the stock split, but it's generally considered a good thing because it means that the company is growing and uh, they're looking for additional investors um, to attract by offering the, the lower price associated with the split. On the flip side, um, stocks can do what's called a reverse split which means they're reducing the overall numbers of shares. So we take our old example, uh, 200 shares at $20 a share. We do a reverse split, one for two, reverse split. And now you only have 100 shares, but the stock is valued at $40 a share. This typically occurs when um, stocks are diluting shares. Um, there's too many shares out there and uh, there's not enough there's not enough people to uh, to pick up those shares, or there's there's just way too many shares out there uh, in in circulation. So this has been John Pinelli talking to you today about um, stock splits.